more? All right. Wow, that was incredible. Wow, that is a buffalo hello. I like that. Some of you went over the top. This man slapped his knee. I like that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hey, it's the effort, you know? That was great. That was so fun. People going crazy, slapping his knee. I'm like, you could do more. I'm sorry for calling you out, but I was, I was like, this is my moment, man. Bring it up, you know? This is here. This is my first time in your wonderful city of Buffalo. Yeah. I like what you got going on. I like it. I like that the club is next to the uh, football stadium right, right over there. That's, that's, that's the hockey arena? Oh, wow. I didn't, I've been here for six hours. I apologize. <laughs> I was like, that looks pretty big. I think that's where the Bills play. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, I was way off. When we, we came in on the Amtrak from Toronto and uh, we got off and I'm like, oh, that's where the Bills play. And I'm like, oh, but Bison's. Oh, that's a different one. <laughs> that's, that's not it at all. And then we came here, I'm like, that's where the Bills play. <laughs> This is exactly what I do in every town I go. I, I know what sports teams are there, and the biggest building I see, I'm like, yeah, that's where they do it. Yeah? That's where that goes down. And they're like, that is our airport. And I'm like, all right. That makes, that makes sense. Those aren't private jets. That's commercial. I see what's going on there. <laughs> so we're here, man. It's so good. So close to the border, right there, you know? If, if it ever happens, you guys are going to be on the front lines. Yeah. If it ever goes south with those maple leaves, you guys are like... <laughs> you guys are the Ukraine to that Russia right there. I'm not... We have a better relationship. It's going all right. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Okay. Felt the tension. <laughs> It was very nice to be here. We, yeah, we took the train in from Toronto, four hours, and we went through uh, customs. I don't know if you guys have taken that train uh, between here and there, but I've never been on a train with so many people that have never traveled before. <laughs> I don't, like, the people we were on the train with, I didn't think they know planes exist. I, I think they're like, it's all about the choo-choo. That's what we're about here. <laughs> Gotta get on the choo-choo. We're gonna go visit Nana. It was a lot of those types of people. They made us go through customs, and I could tell these people have never been through customs or a TSA check of any stretch. Have you ever seen people go through, like, have to deal with an authority figure, whether it's a police officer or a border patrol agent, but you can tell they never have, so they just admit to things and just yell? <laughs> that isn't part of it at all, you know? It's not a part of it at all. We're all in line with our luggage, and they're like, there's gonna be a drug dog that's gonna come by, He's gonna sniff all your luggage, and off in the distance, I just hear a woman go, she has diabetes! <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the wrong line, ma'am. You don't need to yell out medical conditions in the drug line. I already know where her head was at. She's like, you have syringes, what if they think? <laughs> she has diabetes! <laughs> Before we're face down with a taser to our back, let's let them know. <laughs> and then while the drug sniffing dog came by, there's a nice lady in front of me who's like making conversation with the dog guy. And then she's like, I also have a dog. <laughs> and I'm like, this isn't a dog park. This isn't. This man is wearing a bulletproof vest. The dog is wearing a bulletproof vest. Like, this isn't your dog. This isn't the kind of dog you know. <laughs> wild. Then you, they make you put your bags through the x-ray and there's the lady that was saying it to nobody, just aloud. Can I put my computer in there? Like that might ruin the computer. Like putting your computer inside another computer would just mess up the whole... It's like, I think that's how AI started. We put a computer accidentally in another computer and then it's like, oh, I read your text messages, you know? Went all haywire. It's very nice. I like, uh, I haven't been to this part of the country, the, new, the north part, or the east, this section, uh, west. I know geography super well. <laughs> this area, I haven't done as much, but it's, it's good to get around, man. It's my favorite part of this job. You go around, you travel, and you go, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 
But Buffalo is really nice. In parts, it's like you guys are like fixing up the town, but not in order, you know? <laughs> It's very much a building by building situation. <laughs> like, we're gonna fix that one. Skip those three, and then that one. <laughs> and I like that. I don't like it when it's block by block, because that's misleading. You guys are honest. And they're like, you came over. It's like it's someone who's renovating their house, and they're like, yeah, we're, the kitchen's off limits right now. <laughs> But you guys are like, no, the kitchen's there, we just don't have an oven, you know? <laughs> Come on in. That's good. I just spent the last week in Toronto, we were hanging out with my wife's family. Uh, they live up there, and they're, they're Persian. Uh, my wife is from Iran, so that her whole family's Persian, that's how that works. And so I've been eating Persian cuisine all week, and uh, this is the gassiest I've ever been. <laughs> in my entire life. The food is amazing. It's amazing, but I have a white stomach. <laughs> I have a white person's stomach, and they are giving me Persian cuisine, and I came for five, six days straight. Just, whoa, again? Wow, there it is. And it tastes good, but I know after the third day, you're like, you know it's gonna happen. And, and the whole time, they're like, why does he spend so much time in the room alone? <laughs> because I don't want you guys to not love me anymore. That's why. I have to be alone with my noises and smells. That's what's going on. I need privacy with myself because I have a white toast with butter, macaroni and cheese, ranch dressing stomach. That's what I have. <laughs> And that doesn't mean, when you have a white guy's stomach like that, that doesn't mean you can't have other people's food. It just means you can't have it three meals a day for five days straight. <laughs> Otherwise, your, your body's like, what's going on, man? You better get some buffalo wings or something. Like, we don't know what's happening, you know? <laughs> so it was interesting up there. They, they're so uh, loving, uh, my, my in-laws. They give me gifts. They give me, uh, they found out that I like pistachios, so they gave me like four pound sacks. They gave me two four pound sacks of unshelled roasted pistachios from Iran. So it's like in Persian, in Farsi writing, and they gave it to me, and I'm like, well, thank you. I have to go home. How do I take this home? And they're like, oh, just put it in your bag. So we mush these pistachios, and I'm like, hey, look, what if I gotta go? I was afraid going through border check over here. Just some guy like, what are you doing with these Persian nuts? And I'm like, it's my in-laws, man. These are gifts. You have to understand. These are gifts. What are, what we were celebrating our wedding, my wife and I got, we got married this year. That's what we did. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it was our third celebration of our wedding. We had kind of had three weddings. We were trying to not have any, and we ended up having three. Have you guys ever done that? Our third wedding was uh, two nights ago at a Persian restaurant in the suburbs of, uh, of Toronto in Richmond Hill. It was a very nice Persian, Persian restaurant, but it was in a strip mall connected to a Popeye's chicken. Which is, I don't know if you've ever shown up in a suit and tie and had to walk by a Popeye's chicken <laughs> to get to the thing you were going to. But people can tell, you know? <laughs> like, you show up and people are like, Popeye's? You're like, no, no, I'm not going to Popeye's. Uh, if they don't have a reservation, we might be a Popeye's. But it is such, they came out with like seven carts of food, and then you eat it all, and then they surprise make you dance, all right? We didn't rent out the entire restaurant. So it's like 30 of us, and then another wedding. There were two weddings at this thing. Their wedding was like a real, we didn't have other weddings, this is our wedding wedding. And we were having like a dinner wedding slash ensemble. And then there was just random people having dinner. And then in the middle, and there's a band and people singing and they would just call us up, Emma and Zoltan, come to the front. And then we just had to go to the front of a restaurant and just start dancing. <laughs> have you ever done that? Have you ever been? at a steakhouse or something. Someone's like, Phyllis and George, up to the front. And 
We're just in front of a steakhouse, just, yep, yeah, all right. And everyone's watching, too. They don't eat. Like, Persians love watching people dance. That's what my wife told me. And she was like, how uncomfortable are you? I'm like, oh, all of it. <laughs> I go on stage for a living, and that has not helped for this situation. <laughs> I am very uncomfortable. <laughs> and then as we turned, I just watched a room full of people just... <laughs> watching me dance and I'm, I don't know about you, maybe you guys are all great dancers, I don't, I'm good if there's a lot of us and you can't see my feet. <laughs> I'm pretty good, like if we were all standing up dancing and the lighting was like this, kind of dark and blue, blue, and you just, every once in a while you see me do one of these, <laughs> you're like, I think Zoltan can dance, I think he can dance, he gave a little bit of it, yeah? But if you see you head to toe, fully lit, and then me, <laughs> you're like, oh man. I think he's missing toes. I think he might be missing toes. <laughs> and they have all these Persian tra traditions that I didn't know about. Like when they give you the wedding cake, they don't just give you the knife to cut the cake. They, there's a knife dance. I didn't know that. So they gave us all this food and this beautiful cake came out. I'm like, hell yeah, cake, I'm a dessert guy. So I'm like, I've been waiting for this. And then the waitress comes out and she's got a knife and she's doing it. She comes up, she does this. And I'm like, all right, yeah, bring it in. <laughs> and she does this and she gets close and I go to her and then she goes, <laughs> and then it turns into like a belly dance. And she just, dancing with the knife, and I'm like, what the hell is going on right now? That's our cake, we need this. <laughs> and then someone turned to me, she's like, this is the knife dance, you gotta tip her, you gotta keep paying her off, and then she'll eventually give you the knife, and I'm like, I didn't bring cash, I didn't know. <laughs> like, we had to bring cash to this thing, I gotta, does she take tap, can I tap? <laughs> I'm like, we're not gonna eat cake, we gotta pool some money because we want to get to this cake. And she... <laughs> I'm like, we're never eating cake. <laughs> so that was our third one. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it, shared it, subscribed to it, hit the notification bell, do all the things YouTube makes you want to do. Uh, other than that, I wanted to let you know that I'm constantly on tour, so go to my website, ZoltanComedy.com, and see if I'm coming to a town near you. Thank you kindly.